Hello, I'm Kuhn, and together with my co-authors, I was at the Lawrence Center workshop on many criteria optimization and decision analysis last year, where the idea came about to create a questionnaire on the properties of real-world problems. So we continued working on that. But why did we want to have this questionnaire in the first place? You probably all know that optimization algorithms are often empirically compared on benchmarks, but benchmarks often consist of artificial mathematical functions. So the question is, how well they reflect the real-world problems that we ultimately want to solve with our algorithms. And recent work suggests that these artificial functions are not actually realistic. What we want to do with our questionnaire is to identify real-world problems and their properties so they can be integrated into improved benchmarks to give us a better indication about algorithm performance on real-world problems. Here we have our questionnaire structure to give you an idea about the questions we ask. We start with questions about the problem domain, like whether it's an engineering problem or a biological problem. Next, we ask about the variable types. Are the variables only continuous or discrete, or are they combinatorial, or is it a mix of both? Then, how many of these different types of variables are there? And for the discrete ones, what is their cardinality? Another topic is whether the problem includes constraints, and if so, how many? Moreover, we ask about different types of constraints, such as equality and inequality constraints, and importantly, how long it takes to evaluate or check the constraints. Following that, we look more closely at the objectives, where the first question is whether it's a multi-objective problem or a single objective one. Then, what properties the objectives have, for instance, are they stochastic or black box problems, and whether there are known, possibly optimal solutions to the problem. Like for constraints, we also ask for the evaluation time of the objectives. And for multi-objective problems, there are some additional questions about possible correlations or preferences among objectives, and whether there are any known properties of the Pareto front and Pareto set. Is the Pareto front concave or convex, for instance? Finally, we have some concluding questions about which solvers have been used so far, and the option to provide contact information if you like. We also have some first results based on the 21 problems we collected for this paper. We already have more now and are also still collecting. Out of these 21 problems, 17% only have continuous variables, which is quite a large majority. Further, more than 40% of the problems have objective or constraint evaluations that take more than a minute, which encourages the need for work on techniques such as surrogate assisted optimization. Another point is that the objective space topology is often unknown, which makes future benchmark design a challenge. How can we make a benchmark problem if we don't know what it should look like? This also suggests that performance metrics based on known solutions are not always viable. And maybe we should be studying objective space topologies more than we do. Some graphical results then, where we see that a few problems have a lot of variables but most seem to have less than 100, which should be manageable for most existing algorithms. Concerning constraints, it is clear that these are very common in real-world problems, and constraint handling techniques are thus an important research direction to continue working on. We can also see that so far, most of the problems are multi-objective, while there are only a few, many, and single objective problems. So we would very much like to have more of those as well. If you would like to help improve the understanding of real-world problems and their properties, you are very much encouraged to describe your real-world optimization problems in our questionnaire. As mentioned, there are only a few single and many objective problems so far, so we would especially like to see more of those, but any problem is most welcome. Thank you. We will be happy to answer any questions.